I today on uh, you know with my coffee YouTube channel, you know we're here visiting Tanner. You know he loves his coffee, so we got some of that bankroll coffee. You know this is the 20 cent iced coffee version of the bankroll coffee from uh, Graham Stephan, you know a big financial YouTuber. It's uh, locally roasted and uh, hand picked in Los Angeles, California, and everything. Uh, uh, the, I guess this one's the Diamond Hands one. Diamond Hands. Anyway, it's a, what's it, a light roast? Yeah, I think it's a light yeah, roast. Yeah, the light roast, whole bean, you know, show you what the beans look like and whatnot. See, there's all the beans right there. You know, like, There's a couple of them I there. guess. Ready to pour this out? So here's the cover right here. I'm gonna the pour French it. French press version. And give you our first impressions. Alright, alright, alright. Remember, if you like this content, smash that like button. Alright guys, first impressions of the Diamond Hands Baked Roll Coffee. Hot. Mmm. <laughs> what do you think about it, Tan? A little too hot for me to be sipping. <laughs> well, I think it may have not, uh... Oh, it seems a little light. I know it's a light roast, but it may not have had enough beans in there. I didn't measure them out properly, probably. It says, if you're wondering, it says how to make it right there for your regular coffee and your iced coffee. You gotta get that thing to focus. How do you get that thing to focus? Yeah, it's focused on your face right now. Oh, let me see my face out of there. There we go. Nice, now you can see it. Yeah. Diamond hands, diamond hands. You know, you don't want to be like that Dave Poitnide and be paper hands Poitnide. You want to be diamond hands, you know, diamond hand your stock. Everything. That's a good idea. So Graham Stephan made this coffee? Yeah, it's uh, his coffee company called Bankroll Coffee. Huh. When the, why did you decide to do that, I wonder? Oh, he's just trying to diversify his income, you know. That's multiple, not a bad uh, idea. Multiple streams of income, as they say. Well, I wonder if Graham's going to watch this. I was looking at some of this coffee. We're going to get a little bit more intense about it. When I pulled some of it out, I found a couple of little imperfections in here. Oh, you did? Yeah. In some of these beans, like, like this guy. That guy's just got some chafe on it. Got That's normal because it's a light roast, so it's just some of the chafe from the shell. That's okay. But in here, there are a couple of these little like claw hooves. Let's see. Don't in that handful. I'll grab one more. Well, no. All right, here. There's the one. See how that guy's kind of messed up? Yep. Where'd it go? Yeah. See what? it? This is kind of the weird one. It's got a little bit of a chunked up bean to it. Well, that's interesting because it says it's hand picked and uh, a small batch locally roasted and hand picked in Los Angeles, California. So I guess they're missing these imperfections. Yeah, they got a little miss on the imperfection there. Here's another little weird one. It's kind of uh, just not quite what we want it to be. Yeah. But the interesting thing is, is when you brew the coffee, um, the inconsistency in these make the flavor profile go off from what you want. Well, that's and not so good. It's, it's good to check and make sure you're going through some of those so you don't have those little imperfections. So there's a little pea berry in there. Got a little pea berry. That's not bad, but definitely different than a lot of the normal stuff. Well, you must be a coffee connoisseur, Tanner. No, I've got a buddy that's a Q grader. And we went and uh, we went and scoped out some coffee beans together at one of our local roasteries, Hood River Coffee Roasters. Yeah, because the the I guess you would say the average guy wouldn't even know about that stuff. They just put it in the cup and you know sip on it and go and grind it. But it's cool to see Stan Greffin's making it where his quality's at because it's all about quality. Right? Yeah, Graham Stephan. Graham Stephan quality. Yeah. Anyway, guys. I'm not much of a hot coffee drinker, you know, because it's hot out here. I'm much of a hot, have it iced, but from what I'm getting at, yeah, it's, it's good, it's good. You know, mm -hmm. I'll, I'll get one of those bam, 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 for sure, for sure, for sure. It's sure. yeah, pretty solid. I'm stoked to try the other medium roast he's got. Yeah. They also got the Diamond Hands flavor to try next. No, this is Diamond. Oh, that's Diamond Hands? Yeah, we, we got the, try the 20, the 20, 20 cent iced coffee one next. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching this review. First impressions. Uh, the Diamond Hands Bank Real Coffee, you know, from Graham Stephan. Well, we didn't even take the target of what the coffee tastes like. Oh, yeah, it's a light roast. 
It says bright and full bodied. Taste any cherry or stone fruit or no. leather? I'm not much of a connoisseur. Oh, I'm already. Try it out. See if you can get a flavor out of that. Yeah, this tastes like coffee to me. What are you tasting over there? He's, I think it's like, a little cherry flavor to it. A little cherry? Mm hmm. It is bright. It's light. Bright and light. Doesn't hang on your tongue too much, even after a French press roast. That's great. I think it's pretty solid, Marty. Anyway, guys, just make sure you like, comment, subscribe. You know, take care of yourself. Be kind of you. Keep spreading some good vibes only. Until next time, Marty and Tanner out.